So this is it. Domestic football across the continent may all be done and dusted in the major leagues. But now we have the ultimate spectacle to conclude the season. The earliest phase in qualifying started way back at the beginning of last summer. And now there are just two teams standing. A show not just for the capacity crowd here, but one for the whole world. The global audience, they say, some 300 million. We are in this super stadium for a super club, truly one of the iconic buildings of 21st century sport, the Allianz Arena. So we're almost there. All one can see, a look of utter focus on the faces of all involved. You've been there, Jim Beglin. What will they be thinking as they wait for the whistle? Well, you're right, Peter, I have been in this position, and the message is usually something like, remember all the work, the hard work you've put in to get this far. So don't leave anything out there now. Do what you're good at. It's better than what they can offer. Stick to that, and you hope it'll be enough. Final gets on the way. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. PK tries to get it forward quickly. Lewandowski plays it out to the wing. Jordi Alba gets into some space. Great leap! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And it's Lewandowski. Deftly done. A really good feat from him. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And that has been cleared. Beautiful, intricate passing. They are toying with their opponents. Well, they know that their version of what they do is extremely good. I mean, it's a level of possession that leaves the opposition chasing shadows. Roberto. He's being closely tested here. Grealish. Oh, he it forward, and that's been one straight back. Manchester yet to have a shot on target. Greenish clips one through. Ricky Pooch. Looking to hit the front line. Kyle Walker. Mondi. Oh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. A real chance to break. Well weighted. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Gundogan. And it's Bernardo Silva. And the shot! Really well taken goal. Oh, flags up, so that won't count. 
Yeah, the referee hadn't spotted his assistant's raised flag. He has now, so he's ruled the goal out for offside. Disappointment and relief on either side. Nothing doing. Keeper's got good distance on that. Tries to stroke it through. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Has a hit! Ferran Torres. Ferran Torres not easily shrugged off the ball. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Gundogan. And he's going long. And here's Dembele. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Keeper and try something new. Greenish hits one. There's a goal. Could that be the start of something big? A momentary lapse exploited with glee. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. And it's Jordi Alba. Bernardo Silva. Good idea, just poorly executed. And it's been given away. Bernardo Silva. And TT. Ferran Torres finds himself eased off the ball. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, Jim, the halfway point of the final, what are you thinking? Well, it's obvious who's likely to be more content going in at half-time, but I sincerely hope that there's a, a fitting response from the opposition to really engage us on the big occasion. Manchester winning a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. And the action has already resumed here. Manchester really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Keeper sends it forward. And it's Roberto. Dembele. Bernardo Silva sticks in a foot to win it back. Oh, that's not going to make it. Bernardo Silva chipped through. He's found his man. And that's offside. Yes, it is. T. 
Titi, Ricky Pooch. And here's Dembele. Bernardo Silva into opposition territory. Bernardo Silva really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. Just brushed off the ball there. He's had a look, and he has been fouled there. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Has certainly made things interesting. Ah, oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. He's picked him out. He's left his man. Hoists it high. You can get that clear. Ricky Pooch. Now it's Lewandowski. He's tried one. Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his his high-class wage. Rodri, and it's Gundogan. Bernardo Silva, he's gone for it, and that wasn't far away, and that's exactly the type of adventure we want to see in a final two, Peter, and it's a pity it didn't cause the net to bulge. Pique floats one over. Dembele. It's a goal kick. Gundogan. Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. Not much. That's a foul. No two ways about it. It's been lenient here, and I doubt he'll get too many more chances. And it's Mondi. Grealish. Ball swung in. And the whistle's gone. Presumably for offside. Well, they're being caught out too much for my liking. It's not rocket science. Ter Stegen sends that a long way. Gundogan.
Danger averted for now. Now it's Aubameyang. Now the counter. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. TT. Looking to get within range. Jordi Alba with the short one. Barcelona can try it again now. Jordi Alba goes short. Jordi Alba delivers. Up to meet it! Goal! Barcelona! And the comeback is complete! A great delivery and a finish to match. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met. It really was. Barcelona get themselves into the lead. I think what we've just seen is further evidence of their resilience and fantastic belief. I mean, they can always come through. Remarkable. Bernardo Silva fires it in long. Hits one! Yes, it's in! Oh, this is a real show of character. Rather than let their heads drop, they stood proud and fought hard. Brilliant. Ter Stegen reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. That's just top-notch. Showed exactly why he follows it up every time. Keeper struggles to hold on to it. Ball breaks kindly. He's always about. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but... You couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Quite a thriller this one's become. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Well, they could break here. De Bruyne, there he goes, motoring forward. Goes for goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Barcelona making consecutive changes here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Ter Stegen gets it upfield. Lewandowski. Gundogan. Bernardo Silva. Could move up a gear here. Nicely measured pass. Gets the better of his man. Has a pop! It's in! Oh, I think it's been called offside. Yes, it has. 
Oh, his goal-scoring celebrations are going to be cut short. The flag was up for offside, even if the referee didn't spot it straight away. A moment's uncertainty there, but it is the right call. Keeper sends it forward. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Final seconds, this has to be it. And here's Lewandowski. Shot at goal! Played it short, and it's on Titi. Oh, the whistle's gone, what's he given? No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. He knew what was coming, that's a yellow card. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested, he's waved them all away. What a corner. Ake attempts a clearance. A heavy challenge. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. And no surprise, that's a booking. Nothing to separate them, we have extra time. Well, I don't think either manager can have any complaints really, because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal, and it always lacked that spark. So, a short respite for the players, as they prepare themselves for another 30 minutes. Well, here we go then. Manchester displayed great character to force extra time from what looked a pretty ominous situation. The question now is, can they go on to win it? It is doable. Grealish. That's oh, Grealish. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. And he has shown him a yellow card. Gundogan, ready to try one. And you would probably say it's too far out for a shot. Titi drives it forward. Aubameyang. And it's played forward. Laporte cuts it out. Looking to break out here. Gundogan. Oh, real chance! He's had a goal! Oh, should have put that away. It's a very watchable game, isn't it? Any goal from here could, could well be the winner. De Bruyne plays it short. De Bruyne. Forward it goes. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Obamia. He certainly caught him there. It's a free kick.
it'll be a throw in Hoists it forward. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And the counter is on. Right through the middle. Half time, extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this pair. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. And we're on the way. So time for a bit of smash and grab. With a delicate ball. Bernardo Silva delivers. And it's played forward. And he's cut it out. Good clearance and very necessary. Tries to get it forward quickly. Mondi. Now it's Grealish. Now it's De Bruyne. He gets past his man. Good ball. Now can he finish? Titi goes looking. Lobs it in gently. Ake does well there. Alert. Mondi. What's the boy? You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. It's a decent ball. Now it's Grealish. Grealish. It shoots. Oh, yes, it's there. And that has raised the roof. Manchester are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Having turned the game on its head, now can they hold out? I think it's just about seeing the rest of the game out now because the crowd have gone into party mode already. He's got away. Dashing forward at pace. Can he find a finish now? And the shot! It's in! And surely that clinches it! There really is no way back now! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Two up. And the referee brings it to a close. Manchester have done it. It is party time as they gather to get their hands on the trophy. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.